Hi, I'm Tina Klang. I work with Herd Management at De Laval. I'm here to explain to you all the benefits you can get by using Herd Navigator from De Laval. If you want the best possible reproduction success of your herd, you need good heat detection. And that is exactly what Herd Navigator from De Laval will give you excellent heat detection. The example I'm going to give you is from a farm I visited recently. They got two VMSs and around 130 cows. They start their morning by looking into the monitor board in Delpro, where they can see the herd navigator attentions. Here you can see that we have four cows listed today in the insemination report. You open the report by double clicking on this row. You now see that the cows in heat are number 35, 91, 48 and 265. The report contains a lot of information, but by looking into the standard operating procedure, you can easily see if this cow in heat is due to be inseminated or not. And the nice thing is that it can easily be adapted to your farm specific needs and your evolving reproduction strategy. Here you can see that cow 35 and 91 are due to be inseminated. And actually cow 91 was inseminated yesterday and cow 35 should be inseminated this morning. But what about cow 48? And what about cow 265? Well, you instantly see that cow 265 is in lactation number 3 and that 55 days has passed since calving. On this particular farm, they have decided not to start inseminate before day 60 in lactation 2 or more, since they know that herd navigator will pinpoint the next heat. So it's no reason to start too early. Let's face it, a calving interval less than a year is not what you want. So the standard operating procedure for this farm, for this cow, will be no action. Cow 48 is in lactation number 2 and 82 days since calving, which is well above 60 days. However, this farm have persistent lactation curve and have decided that they want to start inseminate cows before day 100 if the cow produce 40 kilos or more. That means that the standard operating procedure for this cow will be no action. They are sure that her navigator will pinpoint the next heat for them. It's also worth underlining that the herd navigator heat detention is triggered 24 hours before the standing heat. This means that the optimal insemination time varies between 24 to 36 hours after the start of the attention. This gives you plenty of time to plan your daily work on your farm. The herd navigator from Delaval is practically 100% accurate in showing heats. However, you still need to do the insemination the same traditional way. There are more bonuses delivered by Herd Navigator to get full control of your reproduction. To lower the calving interval, you need to identify the cows not cyclic, the cows with reproduction disorders. For example, this could encompass cows in early lactation with prolonged anostrous or follicular cyst. A cow with follicular cyst may well show signs of heat, but an insemination will be a totally waste of time and money. Instead, that cow should be treated for the cyst. The great thing with Herd Navigator from De Laval is that cows with prolonged anostrous and follicular cyst alarm will be identified and shown in the various attention reports. Another benefit of the Herd Navigator system is that it will reveal the cows suffering from a luteal cyst or cows that had an abortion in early stage of lactation. A key to improve reproduction control is to monitor the cow that become pregnant. It's important to distinguish between the cows becoming pregnant and the cows that are not cyclic in order to reduce the number of open days in your herd. It's also good to confirm a pregnancy so that the herd management program can keep track of your calving plan and point out the cows which are due to be dried off or due to be calving. As you can see here, the program allows you to check the pregnancy monitoring, which today have three cows listed. By double clicking, you open the report showing cows 16, 68 and 162. As you can see, this report tells you all the cows that Herd Navigator has spotted being pregnant. This is how it works. Let's take a look at the Herd Navigator heat graph. By double clicking on the cow, you will open the animal card and under the Herd Navigator tab, you see the Herd Navigator heat graph. 
if the cow has been in heat, which is shown here, and then also inseminated, which is shown here, the herd navigator from De Laval will monitor the development of the progesterone curve. And after 25 days, no new heat has been detected, the cow is put in a state called possibly pregnant. The herd navigator will continue to monitor the pregnancy up to day 55 after insemination and then stop. The reason is that after day 55, the risk for abortion goes down dramatically. This monitoring function of the herd navigator allows you to confirm pregnancy without actually touching the cow. You simply look into the computer and see what the herd navigator tells you. As you can see here, cow 162 was inseminated, had a nice curve and was here also confirmed pregnant. Thanks to the herd navigator, you get information that is pinpoint accurate, is easy to understand and most of all, it's time saving. Thank you for watching this tutorial.